And court is here to tell us just how hot it's going to get this afternoon. I'm just starting to get used to the really hot weather court. Well, then today's going to feel great out there, Kelly, because we've got a slide in those high temperatures on tap heading into your Thursday afternoon. So some welcome changes in store for you as you're getting ready to take on that Friday Eve. Sunny but not as hot today it will be warm Friday into Saturday and then see a little bit of a dip in temperatures for the latter half of that upcoming weekend. Now a live look outside this morning, the Sundial Bridge in Reading, where we are starting out much cooler this morning compared to 24 hours ago. Remember yesterday at this time, Reading was 77 degrees. That is not the case this morning. The lack of north winds that kept Reading warmer overnight yesterday really helping to leave those temperatures plummeting in the Reading area overnight. In most areas of the valley and foothills are currently starting out in the 50s to mid 60s. Pretty mild out there compared to yesterday at this time. Temperatures in the mountains in the 40s to lower 50s as well. As you get a look at the winds this morning, they're out of the east up to around 10 miles an hour in Orville. So that's where we're seeing the strongest winds right now. And throughout the day, we're looking at southeast winds getting a bit breezy. 15 to 20 mile an hour gusts out of the southeast projected for this afternoon. And this is going to usher in that delta breeze, that marine air rolling into the Bay Area north over the Delta and into our region. That's going to cool us off a bit today. Tomorrow, those winds not as substantial, and that will help to leave us with temperatures bumping up by a degree or two for tomorrow afternoon. And then we'll see the south winds returning again early to midday on Saturday, getting a little bit breezier towards the afternoon hours, leaving us with a drop of around one to two degrees in high temperatures compared to Friday. But really, today through Saturday, not fluctuating too much for those high temperatures until we see a little bit more of a dip on the way for Sunday. Overnight into this morning, we've seen clear skies that I've been tracking for you on your hyperlocal look at the satellite and radar. High pressure off the coast, continuing to leave us with the warm, sunny, and dry conditions for today. But now we've got this cooler, wet system rolling into the Pacific Northwest from the Gulf of Alaska. That's going to drive in and usher in that Delta breeze influence, the cooling south winds. And it's going to push some cooler air towards our region as well, which will leave us with high temperatures falling well short of what we ended up with yesterday. Your hyperlocal futurecast, 8 a.m., it's just sunshine over us. Noon, more of the same sunny skies. And then for your commute home later today, very bright out there. Keep those sunglasses ready to go and still wear the loose-fitting light-colored clothing. Now, early tomorrow, some clouds may end up back into areas of Butte and Glen County zones to start the day, but they'll thin out rather quickly and we'll be left with sunshine for the rest of your Friday. We'll keep the sunshine heading into the weekend and then end up mostly sunny on Sunday with a little bit of a drop in temperatures on the way. And then early to midweek next week, projections are all over the place. Some are calling for a slight chance for mountain showers. Others are keeping us dry. Temperatures today, mostly in the 80s for the northern mountains, will end up in the 70s to lower 80s in the Sierra and Southern Cascades. Foothills in the 70s to lower 80s as well. And if you're in the valley today, upper 80s to lower 90s for your Thursday afternoon. So sunny and still very warm out there, but a far sight from what we ended up with yesterday. Upper 80s to low 90s in the Mid Valley as well. Your Storm Tracker 7 day forecast where your weekend's always in view. Similar high temperatures with sunshine through Saturday. Low temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s. A dip into the mid 80s with mostly sunny skies on Sunday. And then we're in those mid to upper 80s early to midweek next week with the sunshine continuing. A little bit more of a dip in temperatures for Wednesday of next week. So Kelly, after yesterday, these upper 80s to lower 90s looking pretty nice. And then we'll see additional cooling for the latter half of that upcoming weekend. Music to my ears. All right, thank you for that, Court.